Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we learned about the three main position sizing options available to the retail Forex trader. In today's lesson we're going to continue our Forex trading course with a discussion of what a PIP is as well as fractional PIP pricing. So let's get started. Traditionally, a one pip move in the currency market was the smallest move that a currency could make. Another way of looking at this is that a one pip move in the market is a move up or down by one of the number sitting the furthest to the right of the decimal point in the Forex quote. As most currency pairs have four decimal places, a one pip move in the market would be a move up or down by one of the number sitting in the fourth decimal spot in the quote. So for example, the Euro US dollar currency pair as of this lesson was trading at 156.78. With this in mind, a move to 156.79 would equal a one pip move up in the market. A move to 156.77 would equal a one pip move down in the market. In the yen based currency pairs where there are two decimal points, a one pip move in the market would be a move up or down by one of the number sitting in the second decimal point spot. In this example, dollar yen as of this lesson was trading at 101.28. So with this in mind, a move to 101.29 would equal a one pip move up in the market. A move to 101.27 would equal a one pip move down in the market. If you notice in the beginning of this lesson, I said that a one pip move in a currency pair has traditionally been the smallest move that a currency pair could make. I say this because as electronic platforms have brought greater price transparency to the Forex market and price competition has heated up, some platforms, including the one that we've been using, have added an additional decimal place to their quotes. Known as fractional pips, now many of the currency pairs which have traditionally been four decimal places are quoted out to five decimal places, and the pairs which have traditionally been quoted out to two decimal places are now quoted out to three decimal places. Let's quickly log into our real-time demo trading platforms and see what I'm talking about. If you've not done so already, I encourage you to pause this video now and register for a free real-time demo using the link above this video if you're watching on informtrades.com or to the right of this video if you're watching on YouTube so you can follow along as well. Once logged into your demo trading platform, you can see this extra digit in the upper right hand corner of the quote for each currency pair. Fractional pip pricing is an advantage to the individual trader as it allows the market maker to quote in inc increments of less than one pip, offering for example a spread of 2.5 pips on Euro US dollar instead of three and saving the trader a half a pip on the trade. That's our lesson for today. In tomorrow's lesson, we will look at how to calculate profits and losses in the Forex market. So we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And good luck with your trading.